Hey guys, Zephonix here, and today we're going to talk about Thundercats 2011. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it better than a 1985 series? Well, I don't know if we're going to go that far, but it is actually pretty good. Now, before I go into the actual show and my review on the show, let me go ahead and kind of talk about those voice actors, because you guys know as well as I do that a voice actor can make or break an entire series. No, seriously, they can. They can. You will always remember those guys. So, I am happy to announce that we have a good cast here. Let me just name three off the back here. Clancy Brown, the original voice of Lex Luthor from the DC Animated Universe is now playing Grown the Destroyer. Kevin Michael Richardson, who is known for playing Dr. Fate, not Kent Nelson, but Dr. Fate from Young Justice. Let me just make sure I say that right. And also a Martian Manhunter from Young Justice. He is now playing the voice of Panthro. You also have um, Will Frettle. Um, who is playing the voice of Lino, and you also have Larry Kenny, the original voice of Lino from the 1985 series, who's now doing the voice of Claudius. And let me just go to Will Frettle for a second here. One thing I like about him is that, for those who don't know, Will Frettle is the guy who did the voice of Terry McGinnis from Batman Beyond, or Batman of the Future, depending on if you're in the UK or not. I believe that's what it's called in UK. At any rate, though, um, one of the cool things about it is that, at one point, about, I think, the ending, the last 20 minutes of it, um... He says, um, Lionel says something like this. He says, you know, good thing I know a little bit about it or something like that, right? And it's funny. If you listen to it, it's, it's Terry McGinnis' voice. It's like, oh, snap. You know, so it's, it's kind of like a, like, a, like a good thing, but I don't know. Anyway, um, so basically, I am very happy with the um, whole thing going on here. Now, I am not very familiar with this one guy named Matthew uh, Mercer, but he does the voice of Tigra. And I'm going to get into the whole part, part in a minute here. Tigra, his voice is just awesome, you know? Um, let me go ahead and um, I'm looking here right now. He's apparently done, I'm, I'm trying to find some people who, excuse me, you guys know. He did the voice of Fei Long in Super Street Fighter 4. And of course, Street Fighter 4. Um, let's see, anything, I'm trying to find some, um, some things here that he may have done here that you guys may not, may know. Uh, he and, and from what I see here, he hasn't really done too much in terms of like some big, big... Oh, he did the voice of Curtis Stryker from um, Mortal Kombat. That's actually pretty cool here. And of course he did... Um, let's see, if I can get anyone else? No. He hasn't really had too many starting roles, starring roles it looks like. Um, so, yeah. At any rate, sorry, I see something right here and I was like, what? Ganondorf? But that's something different here. But anyway, um, so this guy right here is definitely someone, Matthew Mercer, that you want to keep an eye out for. I think I'm going to start keeping an eye out for Matthew Mercer right now, too, because I'm really starting to feel him. I'm listening to, like, the way he speaks, and he's just nice. Anyway, um, going on here, um, oh, apparently he was also in No More Heroes Desperate Struggle. Now, I've never played No More Heroes, but um, he played Bishop and um, Zach O'Fat. For those who may have played um, No More Heroes, I think Shokio played it, so he'll definitely know who that is here. And anyway, um, on to um, back onto the show here. There's a lot of different things about the show that kind of is not like the original show, such as um, Tigra being the brother of Lion. Now, now, how the heck is a tiger the brother of a lion? Is beyond me. They're basically distant cousins, but you know, I digress. Yeah, it's going on like that. That's pretty much what's going on right there. So. Um, Let's see, what else? Um, another thing I want to bring mention to is Snarf, who no longer speaks. He's kind of like Momo from Avatar The Last Airbender. He's pretty much just there for comic relief. Um, he's kind of got that Jaja Binks feel to it, though. I, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Anyway, um, so you can keep going on about it. Um, let's see. Um, oh, they started introducing things like classes in there, too. Because, like, um, Chitara, Chitara, rather. Chitara was actually a cleric. And you know that super speed thing that she has? Well, that's... That's for all clerics. All clerics have that super speed thing. So I thought that was kind of cool the way they kind of add that in there. And Jaga, Jaga was also a cleric. And he has not done that whole thing with the cape and disappear thing yet. So but, uh, we're, we're waiting on it. We're waiting on it. Um, now, for those who don't know, let's, let's see what else I can go ahead and bring up here. I want to really talk about here. I do believe that um, this particular um, studio is Studio 4C, right? Uh, yeah, it is. So the Studio 4C um, did Transformers Animated as well, which was something that I was really getting worried about. Because I remember doing Transformers Animated, I'm like, what? Ooh, I'm not really, you know, feeling this. And at the same time, it's actually good. 
you know, it actually is really good. So I'm really impressed by how good it was, especially since they did Transformers Animated. And it's not that Transformers Animated was bad, it's just it was terrible. So anyway, um, anything else I can mention? Oh, Thundera is no longer Thundera the planet, but just Thundera the city. And that was the kind of thing, that kind of premise, you know, um, premise of the whole show, because um, at the end of the show, Thundera falls, and pretty much you're left with um, ja, um, was it Lionel, Tigra, and uh, Chitara, pretty much going to look for the Book of Omens. Now there were other characters that made an appearance too. Uh, Linkso actually made an appearance, which I thought was really cool. Um, it doesn't look like he can still see. He still can't see, but Linkso was actually there himself. That was cool. Um, he only had like one small part, but he was there. You also have um, Wally Kit and Wally Cat that were there. However, they didn't really meet up with Lino or anyone like that yet, but they were there. Um, what else? Panthro, we thought Panthro was there, or rather we thought Panthro was not going to show up, and then he wound up showing up, and then we found out that Panthro was not the Panthro. So, yeah, it was actually Mumra, but whatever's whatever. Mumra's back, um, Sly is back, um, Vulture we haven't seen yet. It's funny, I remember I had the, the toy of Vulture too. Um, Jackal we haven't seen yet, so we haven't seen a lot of characters just yet. I expect them to go ahead and appear later on, because I noticed something too. Um, they call, instead of calling them mutants, they call them the lizards. So I was like, okay, well, if they're calling them lizards, that must mean that there's other races out there, you know, such as jackals and um, vultures. So I'm definitely looking forward to, I'm definitely looking forward to the show. Um, do I think it's good? I think it's actually terrible. I mean, I think it's fantastic. I'll say terrible. No, I actually think it's fantastic. Now, I didn't, I didn't really want to give a lot away. I was doing my best to kind of hold back. I will tell you this for a lot of people who, because I know it's like a whole, um, we've gotten a whole bunch of um, Japanese car um, um, anime is better than American cartoons um, rants recently. So I just want to say this is an anime, so no worries about that. You know, you expect the same quality that is in the anime here as well. It is here. It is great. Um, I definitely think that all of you guys should go ahead and um, enjoy it. It's definitely a fantastic series. Um, for those who don't know, um, it, it'll probably be on Zune and PlayStation Network probably tomorrow or at least somewhere next week. Um, most likely tomorrow the way it usually runs here. But definitely take a look for it. Um, I know that um, Pyro 2000X and a lot of other guys out there really enjoy these kind of um, shows. So this is definitely going to be something that you guys are going to enjoy. You guys have a good night. I hope you guys enjoy. And let me know what you guys think about the brand new Thundercats 2011 series.